So this video is still in, in the chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are going to introduce now a the concept of summation symbols. So I'm going to use this S. This is a Greek S, right? The small S in Greek is like this and this is the big one, okay? So we use this in mathematics for the summation, okay? Um, okay, so I'm going to need this, uh, this symbol so some of my viewers might not, not be acquainted with it. So I'm going to give a quick review for this. So for instance, if you have uh, this summation from n equals 1 to 3 of n squared, so you start in 1, 1 is here, 1 squared plus, so n is 1, now plus 2 squared, and now 3, and 3 is the last one, okay, plus 3 squared. So if you have this, you can also write this this way. So it's a, a quick way to write huge uh, summations, okay. So this is a, a quick and simple example, you can find other uh, examples, okay. This is usually associated to series, you might be, uh, but usually in, in calculus you study stuff like this, right, till from 1 to infinite, uh, uh, for instance, n, okay, and then you say that this series, this is not, so this is a sequence, right, but the summation of the sequence is a series, and then you say that this series, for instance, is divergent, okay, because the summation goes to, to, to infinity. Okay, now let us pick an algebraic exper expression like f of k. Okay, so here you have a variable, right? k is your variable. And let us say you define the summation, so I'm going to write this Sn, summation of n terms, as the summation of f of k. So instead of a sequence here, because here we had a sequence, right, n squared is a sequence, we have a summation, a summation of algebraic expressions, okay? Let us say we, we begin, for instance, k1 to n. Okay, so of course this n has to be greater than 1, right? Okay, so what is Sn? What is the summation here? So k will be 1, so we will have f of 1 plus f of 2 plus etc. And we will get to f of n minus 1, so this will be, and the last element will be f of n, okay, so this will be the previous element to the last one, okay? Um, I'm going to show you a regularity here and I, I hope I, I, I will not throw any confusion here. But this is Sn, right? The summation of the n terms. So Sn is the summation from k1 to n of f of k. Okay? So this went began in 1 and finished in f of n minus 1 plus fn. Okay, let us say now that if you, so here, beginning in this one and finishing in this one, 
there is one term lacking here. So this is s of n minus 1. So s of n will be equal to s of n minus 1 plus f of n. We can say that uh, if um, n is greater than 2. Okay? Otherwise it doesn't make sense here. Because you will get something like s0 and that doesn't make sense in this context. So I think this is pretty obvious, right? This is a very important uh, regularity here. Because all these terms here, beginning here and finishing here, they are all equal to s of n minus 1 as I pointed here. So this would be like the summation beginning in 1 and you did not finish in n this time. You finished in n minus 1. Okay, so f of n will be s of n minus 1 equal sn. Okay, this regularity is very important. I'm going to use it in the, the next videos probably.